Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Look at what I've finally got to. It's a tundra planet. Now, I don't want you to be disappointed <laughs> because I've already visited. It's not that great. Uh, but I did want to show you what it was all about. It kind of reminds me of the terrain generated planets. It took me a little while to get to it. I finally orbited there and it looks like it's going to take me a little while to orbit back um, close. As you can see, I re-outfitted. I, I, I took a trip to my home planet and uh, or my my old home planet and I loaded this thing out with resin and compound and a little bit of aluminum so I could not find aluminum on the other planet although I did find resin and compound it's a little bit harder to find but my whole goal was to try to get a trading platform online uh, in my underground uh, biome base um, so this is the tundra planet I didn't find any specific resources that were unique um, and naturally there are still or like the man-eating plants and all that stuff here I say the man-eating plants, but all of these things have spikes attached to them I don't want to get too close, but I think you guys know how they look already I can take it away and make it just die. Yeah, <laughs> you can you can just make it die by hitting that I wonder if they're I Don't know about the big ones I don't remember what the big one what happens with the big ones but it doesn't look like there's any real resources real different resources I think the most is gonna be astronium and oh yeah I just died dang it's it's still sticking me stop sticking me all right well that sucked <laughs> um, I did want to get back and go <laughs> get that stuff holy crap cakes man all right, let's go and grab my junk. Yep, the big ones do sting, ladies and gentlemen. They sure do. The good news is I don't have to get too close here. Is that close enough? Not quite. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to take any chances here. I am going to take these out before they can take me out. If that makes any sense. A little low on oxygen here. I just need to get my junk back. There we go. Hello, junk. Got my oxygen tanks back on, so it's not as bad in a hurry here. It's a little bit dark. I can't see anything, but I can see just enough to put my stuff on. Um, compound? I don't know what I'm missing here. I have no idea. Hold on, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. No, back the other way, man. Back the other way. I'm bouncing on something. Okay, finally it attached. It was kind of glitching out there. Okay, no problem. I am safe again. Okay, let's get off of this stupid planet and get back home. <laughs> so that's the Tundra planet. I didn't do a whole lot of exploration, but we can check it out in its entirety once we have um, our established spot. And it does sound like a storm's coming, so time for me to get out of Dodge here. Okay, let's see if I can orbit back around to my place. That's right, the underground jungle biome base. It is an adventure going through that place there's quite a lot to explore the cave systems are quite intricate and stuff all right let's see am I close enough to anything okay is that the exotic planet that I was on we're about to find out I did kind of orbit around the exotic planet as I left just to make sure that I can see the beacon that I left as well as my home and I could in fact do that as you can see they're right there so that might have been the right click I think it was. <laughs> I think it was. So we should be able to get back there. If not, we'll we'll launch, we'll relaunch. Holy cow! All right. Am I around my big uh, my big deal? I think I'm a little bit further out than I was before. Yeah, my other beacon is over there. Which, honestly, I think I want to go back to because it was a little bit easier to access. Should be okay though. 
Yeah, there's home. Actually, that would have been perfect. I don't guess it matters, though. I don't guess it matters. Okay. So I'm just going to need to rotate around the planet one more time to get back to where I'm supposed to be. It should be relatively simple to click as soon as I make my first orbit. Where are you, Beacon? Yeah, that was close enough. I should have just stayed at that one, but... I wanted to be right by my beacon because, well, I've already set up there and I'm familiar with how to get up and down there quickly. I don't want to make it a whole nother adventure. We already kind of went through that. Okay, so that looks like the spot right there. Let me just get a little bit more vertical with it. Yeah, that has to be it. That's it right there. I wonder what the other one I clicked on was earlier. Or maybe it's just at a little bit of a different spot. It shouldn't have been unless those things change. But I don't see why they would. You should be able to get back and forth exactly where you were before. Huh. Maybe this is kind of where I was before. Alright. Well, all in all, we're good. We should still be able to access it. Okay, let's take one of the... This is the one with aluminum. We're going to go ahead and take this storage with us. And I'm scared to just drop it down there, but honestly, it should it should be fine. Did it land? Okay, I can physically see it. That's good. I feel like going back down there first, but I don't wanna I don't wanna waste too much time here. I just wanna get some stuff done. I already have people complaining that I don't edit, but I'm just kinda enjoying the game, you know. Just playing. All right, storm is coming. We can drop this down too. Let's go a little bit further. I'd like to drop it down right next to the other one. All right, that's the second one. Now, as far as I know, the storms take a little while to get up, but it's gonna be difficult for me to get back. I don't wanna dig into this platform really need to get back to my ship. I'm almost there. The debris about to start flying, I think. There it is. I don't want to fall down the hole. Just get in the ship, Z. Woo! Got it. Alright. I have a couple more storage platforms to get here. Oh, man. <laughs> kind of intense. Gathering resources is tough. It's tough business. So yeah, I imagine a ship just kind of like this with a crane outfitted on it. See this big storage module, how it's like too wide? You need to have a crane on a too wide deal in order to be able to, um, in order to be able to attach it. So what I'm planning on doing is building one maybe just like this or the smaller version, I'm not real sure. And going back to the, uh, the radiated planet and try to mine some of that astronium when I do when I need it but that's that's the goal I think that would be fun also it looks like I had left some resource right here I don't know what that is it's probably organic knowing the stuff that's plentiful around here it's bound to be organic all right come on storm we almost finished get this one out it's so crowded right here it's, it's a bad it's a bad area can I get out of here please maybe not there we go there we go all right and which way was I headed now so easy to get lost yo so easy there we go all right right place now so I think I'm just gonna leave the rest of the storage here for the moment let me put this one down there all right and now we descend ourselves I had to kind of reformat my little my little entrance way down but we got it to work 
I'm starting to learn the dig tools a little bit better. All right, look at this, man. Special delivery. This one's upside down, but that's okay. All right, so uh, first things first, we're going to get the aluminum off of here. And we're going to make the trade platform. I hope it can go through the mountain there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Um, all right, and we can take these two compound here, and or yeah, two compound and set this on top. Very good. And we can also set this one on top of one. Okay, so now we really are going to have to set up power. Um, and the a way to get I want a way to get the fuel working okay so let's set up let's do resin right here okay let's do resin right here and there's some resin okay so this platform gets turned into fuel well, I gotta turn it into a platform first, okay. So, fuel condenser, that's exactly what we need, okay, and we need copper for that, no problem. I think I brought a little bit of that with me. If not, I can sure get it with this trade platform. Okay, now, the other one, I'm also going to do the same thing here. Resin. Okay, now we do resin and resin and be kind of crowded right here but that's okay this is going to be this little spot right here is going to be for one thing fuel condensing and trading that's exactly what I want so I need four copper here okay so it's time to try out this stuff we do have some coal from earlier right let's see if we can trade the coal out for the copper. We're also going to need a smelter because we can get laterite and copper from the minerals around here, but we'll see. Okay, so it looks like, wow, yield four of whatever is currently on there. So coal is pretty darn valuable from what I can see. Okay, so we can get eight compound from two coal. We can get eight resin from two coal. That's really, really good. And organic all right, so we are looking for copper here. We don't have a smelter online yet. What does it take to make a smelter? Not that I'm gonna change it, but I'm just curious. A smelter is gonna need two compound. That ain't nothing, we have plenty of that. Okay, so I think we make a smelter first. Let's take this out. Smelter's gonna be here. I'm gonna try to lay this out kind of squarely, okay? Uh, let's see, we got resin, good. Okay, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of low right here, but I can, I can fix some of that. I can flatten it out and stuff. I'll, I'll do a little bit of shaping on it later, but for now, we get, let's see, this is going to need, oh, that fell over. Wait, stay right here, you. <laughs> um, we're going to need a little bit of resin. So let's put that on. Do I have any resin on me? No, I don't think so. I knew this was going to be very resin heavy, so I got a lot of it to bring back with me. Why can I grab that? There it is. It just didn't want to uh, to highlight here. Um, where you at, resin? There you go. Okay, so this is going to turn up. Oh, stuff is shifting around a little bit. Let's change this to not research, to smelter, right. Oh lord, hold on, let me move these. Oh no, I think I'm gonna have a sound loop. Oh no, look, that's what it is right there. There it is. I should be able to grab it. <laughs> I've had one of these before. There. Oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> that would have aggravated the heck out of me and y'all. Okay. It looks like I'm getting another storm here, but I'm kind of safe in this area. It's not that bad, honestly. Okay, so we've got the ladder right. We can just put that here. Compound goes here. We do want to make the smelter. And compound goes here. Okay, now we make the smelter. Alright, and naturally I have no power, but that's okay. Um, we can do, and with the smelter, we're going to want to do, I guess the, the next platform here is going to be research, right? I think it's just going to be research. Let me just make sure I'm close enough to my tunnel to where it doesn't mess up on me. Uh, and I think right here we go for malachite because we can just smelt that up, right? Let's go. Let's see if it goes through the ceiling. It sure does. It don't give a dang. <laughs> I like it. I mean, worst comes to worst, we could have just like opened that up and had it go through. It would have been something if it would have wrecked in the terrain, huh? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna need a li little bit of power. Uh-oh. Yeah, I am going to f try to build a little dome here. Oh man, I died. <laughs> it looks like I got hit. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I thought I had went in the uh, the deal, but I guess not. We may as well bring this uh, this battery with us too. We might need it. We might need it. We're definitely gonna use the uh, the fabricator though. We're gonna put uh, the printer. We're going to put the printer together, and you guys said that I should make an industrial-sized battery, an industrial-sized solar panel, an industrial-sized wind vane. We're going to do all that, and we're going to hook some of that up to the base uh, for power generation. Uh, we're also going to use some of these storage can uh, canisters or containers or whatever to, um, to auto-feed some of this stuff. So we're going to try to incorporate a little bit of automation here. Uh, let's see. Okay. I'm guessing because I'm already here, I might as well take something with me. Might as well take something. Uh, hold on. No, I want to take it all. There we go. Wait, where did, uh, there we go. I just lost track for a little while. Don't get so excited, guys. Yes, I get lost. <laughs> Pointing it out does not change or improve my navigational skills. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Drop that off. Go behind the big landmark that we set up for ourselves. And there's our stuff. There's our goods. Uh, I do have a couple things that are already on me that I'm going to transfer. Alright. There we go. Oh, I'm glad I found a little bit of power. I can use that. Our shipment should have, should have arrived by now. Okay. Uh, get off of that. Okay. Shipment has... Arrived. Yep, there it is, right there. Okay, so we'll be able to use. We need to move the ladder right onto the smelter, and we're gonna. Get, I think this we might keep storage right here, because we can do something like this. That's a little bit easier to transfer stuff in between, don't you think? Uh, was there one more I'm missing? Yeah, it's just kind of hidden. In hindsight, Smelter should have been close to the um, the deal too, but I'm kind of limited in my space. Not really limited, but... Okay, Compound is right here. That's no problem. I would like to take an empty storage and set it up right here and see about auto-feeding. This is almost empty right as it is, so I'll tell you what. Let me just use this one for now. Just just because it's a little bit quicker. Okay. Auto storage. There we go. It just folds out and opens up. That's good. Now I can take the storage that I just brought down. That's not the one that I just brought down, I don't think. 
Maybe it is. Okay. Whatever the case may be, we have it set up. All right. So, Malachite. And smell. Look at that. How it auto-feeds. That's really, really good. Okay, so we've got plenty to do that now. Yeah, I like the fact that there's a little bit of storage there. Okay, so now we can make the two fuel condensers. So let's take the copper from here. Oop, kind of quick there. All right, copper. Copper. Let's take this malachite here, transfer it, grab the copper and put it here, and grab the copper and put it there. Okay. I'll figure out how to manipulate storage a little bit better. We're also, we might move this out of the way just to make it a little bit easier to access, and we'll, we'll build another ramp up. Uh, but right now... We'll save the house cleaning for later, huh? Let's save the house cleaning for later. Right now, I want to move this here and this here. Okay, so now we can turn two fuel condensers. There we go. Fuel condensers are online. All right. Last but not least, we need to set up a printer. And the printer is going to be here. Okay. Let's put this storage somewhere. I know I have room for it around here. I don't want it right there, though. I'm kind of scared. Well, I don't guess it matters. I don't want to trade this stuff off by accident. <laughs> That's what I meant. All right. Oh, hold on. No, now I'm taking pieces of it. Can I put it on the storage? No. <laughs> it's okay, though. I'll just drop it right here. That's got a little bit of space on it. All right. So this will be... I think vehicles are going to be off to the side over here. I might want to just stretch this out a little bit. So this is going to be... Yeah, because I do have room here. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's stretch this out. Where is the rest of my resin? That's compound and stuff. Oh, the resin's over there. I probably have a little bit on me too, but... Okay, that extended out. Perfect. Okay, now I can flatten all this out a little bit. Okay, and... Oh, what happened here? It's so messy right here. It's kind of hard to flatten it all out. Like, there's a flatten command. I'm doing the flatten command right here. <laughs> and as you can see, it doesn't exactly... It's not the most intuitive thing in the world. So when you hold Alt, it adds. If you hold Control, it's supposed to flatten. And this is flattening, believe it or not. Yes, it does flatten, but look, it also kind of digs. I don't know. I wish it wouldn't do that. Let's get on a level that we can see what we're doing here. It doesn't help that it's so darn dark. I wish you could make lights. That would be kind of cool. Lighting is probably pretty resource intensive. Uh oh. Is that storm? Yes. It's a storm. Okay, but we do have enough resin to set up. This is compound. Resin. Resin. And all right, that's the platform. Now we build the printer. We're gonna need copper for that. First, let's go hide in the dad gum uh, habitat. Habitat. <laughs> We're in. We're in like Flynn. All right. Can I move copper while I'm in here? That's the question. I'll tell you what. Yeah, we need power. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that much power. I thought I had enough copper, but I guess not. Uh, trade platform. It's hard to, to see what I'm trying to get here. I know there's no power. It's okay. Um, 
resin, compound, titanium, coal, lithium, copper. We want, yes, malachite. That's what we want. All right. And we only need, like, one more malachite. I don't know if I have any more coal on me, though. Hold on. This is some more storage that I did have. Oh, that's my open storage. No, I did have a little bit of, of stuff on it. Do I have? I wish it would let me access the other side. I think the storm's over. Let's see. Uh, no. That's all resin and stuff. Okay. So, compound. Yeah, we know that that's there. Organic. We know that that's there. Laterite. We know that that's there. Let's put some of this on the storage. And I do have some aluminum left as well, but we don't need that immediately. It's not a big deal. I could take aluminum and trade it off, but I don't think that is the smartest thing to do. I think the smartest thing to do is grab rare resources from where we're at and do it uh, as such. But be, being that I only need one more to do the printer, I don't know. We also need the research. I think the research might be more important than the printer as of now because of all the things that we have available to us yet we do need some stuff to let's see fuel condenser research is only two compounds so I think that would be pretty straightforward let's get that done since we can do it that way we make we just make more process progress and I know it's gonna take power and stuff but at least when we run across these guys we can start looking for them and we can go on a harvest we can go harvest for power that's not a problem either okay we can take some resin here extend out this way oh wait maybe we're gonna have to move this yeah resin why you not want to there we go all right so this can be plugged in the storage for now, and this can be our um, our setup for the printer. We just need this little bit of resin. All right, now that's already set to printer. Okay, so copper is the last thing we need. We just need a little bit of malachite. I'll tell you what, guys. Do I have any power saved up for fuel storage here? I don't. I can't I can't order any malachite right now. Yield is zero. I do have just a little bit, but I don't think I have anything that I can trade for it. Is there any materials that I can just grab really quickly from around here? Uh I left some coal here. I left coal. Boy, that's a sight. <laughs> that's perfect that is perfect coal trades really well I'm okay with that so we give coal to there we go to malachite and we just wait for it to come back as far as power what's gonna be the easiest way for us to get power here I think with the printer we are gonna set up um, a large solar and a lot what the heck that's going on it was waving and it freaked me out I think we set up a large solar and a large wind vane and then go from there we can attach either one of them to this thing I do believe and I think we can just make some extra platforms and plug power into it to kind of fuel the network we can also get a lot of organic to generate stuff we can make a generator generator. Oh, uh, that's not what I'm meaning to do, game. There we go. All right. And we do have our battery back up if we need it. All right. Malachite. Done. We did have a little bit of fuel, too. Okay. Copper and copper. Nice. Copper goes here. Copper goes here. And we make our printer. Look at that, baby. And what's it take to make like a... Well, hold on. Let's put this on the storage. What's it take to make a... Um, 
the big windmill. Because you know we get a lot of wind here. I can fill this thing halfway up with my battery juice. We're going to need a little bit more. A little bit more. So close, man. Uh, let's take this hydrazine and put it here. Also, with the um, we can just produce power. I think we might use a little bit of compound for that, even though it's not the smartest thing in the world to do. Tank, power cells, and all that uses is compound. I think just to get the job done, we finish it like this. All right, power cells, good. Oh, I don't wanna. A little bit more efficient. Okay, solar panel. Storage, wind turbine. Two aluminum needed. Already got that, baby. Already got it. Aluminum, aluminum. Okay, wind turbine. Let's grab these. Wind turbine's gonna go on the back of the base, or maybe it won't. It doesn't fit on the back of the base? No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay. I thought it would just fit on the back of the base, but it doesn't. So we're going to need our regular... Okay, so let's set up a little power grid here. Let's set up a power grid. So to do that, let's extend this out. This away. Resin. So this can be all really, it doesn't have to be traversable, you know? Let's do another resin. Oh, wait. Let's make it go a little bit more this way, yeah. I'm standing on the plant, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, all right. So, resin. <laughs> I like how it feeds like that, okay. So, on this, we can put our new windmill. And on the other one, we can put a solar panel. I don't know how well the sun's going to hit it, but I don't have any more aluminum, so we just tried. So, storage, solar panel is too compound. We got that, no problem. It's lying all over the place, actually. Is there any left on here? Yeah, there is. Compound. Look at this. Industrial sized solar panel coming right up. And now we attach this to the second platform that we made down here. And I guess it opens up. I don't I guess when the wind uh, I guess when the sun comes out it will. It looks like there it is. It does work. Okay, so that's going to generate power and this is going to generate power with wind. The only thing left to really do is build a battery, I think. And let's see what that takes. Wind turbine, drill head, battery. Two lithiums needed. I don't think we have lithium yet. That's not something that we can't create. We do have laterite for aluminum. Let's look here. We might have to wait on the lithium. Malachite, aluminum, hydrazine, lithium, yield one. We would need two, but we have some power now. Hold up, baby. The solar panel just closed. We don't get a whole lot of sunshine here. Lithium, one yield. But this is filling up. Oh, look, the windmill's turning now. Uh huh. <laughs> See, we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. Hopefully with one more of these, it'll yield one more lithium. We might as well do this, too. We can make power cells if we need to. Two lithium. Blast off. More power. Okay, storm is coming. <laughs> Perfect time to sit tight while we're waiting for our package to be delivered here and just in the nick of time. Plus, look, we can hit the fuel condenser from here, too. 
This is cool. We can sit here and condense fuel as we go. Very nice, very nice. I didn't put my battery back on me. That's alright. I'll put my battery here. There we go. Lithium. Lithium. I love this new setup. I can do all of this good stuff from here. Nice. Can we attach the battery to this? No. <laughs> Too bad. Um, I guess we're going to have to make another platform to attach the battery. I'll tell you what. Hold on a second. I think we've been doing this all wrong. Not all wrong, but y'all know what I mean. So that opens up. That's our resin there. Let's take our new battery. And just attach it. That way, when we're not using power, it's going to build up power to distribute with through the base. Oh, man. <laughs> the little base is coming right along, you guys. I hope you all really enjoyed the episode. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.